The five clips released by the Pentagon paint a picture and an image of a man very different from that associated with the world's most dangerous terrorist, a $25 million bounty on his head. The footage throughout has no sound. The Americans said they were not in the business of spreading what they called Al-Qaeda propaganda. In the first clip, bin Laden is talking directly to the camera in a never-delivered speech to the American people. The date of the recording, thought to be between late October and early November of 2010. The second video clip reveals a dramatic change. An old man, gray beard, huddled under a blanket, watching pictures of himself on satellite television. The Arabic caption on the screen tells us that this was shot in January 2010. The man is in a room with bare walls and naked wires. Authorities don't know if the room was located inside the Abbottabad compound raided last Sunday. I think they're also trying to show that he's human, that he's vain, that he makes mistakes. Uh, he, he had to take cues or missed a cue when he was starting a tape. He was watching Al Jazeera uh, in there, and, and I think they're trying to show a human side. In other outtakes, Bin Laden rehearsing, talking with someone off screen. Only one of the locations confirmed to be inside the compound. U.S. officials insist all this video proves bin Laden was very much in charge of an active al-Qaeda command and control center. But they add the rest of the treasure trove of intelligence will never be made public for security reasons. The U.S. government video is far from flattering and could be read as a way to underscore the image of a bin Laden as U.S. public enemy number one. But for some viewers, the continuing confusion and conflicting narratives surrounding the raid and the death of bin Laden may undercut the administration's message that a mortal threat has been removed. The challenge now for members of the U.S. intelligence and military communities finding any, quote, actionable intelligence that could be putting the U.S. or its allies at risk. What is clear, though, according to a senior intelligence official, al-Qaeda is an organization that today is very much in disarray. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, at the Pentagon.